Hey there friends, in today's quick tutorial video, I'm gonna show you how to freeze header rows and columns right here in Apple Numbers. Super easy, let's do it right now. Okay, so as you can see, I've set up a super simple little spreadsheet. We've got our column names that are up here as well as our row names that are over here on the left. And I really want this information to follow me as I move around the page. And let me show you what that does again. Say I scroll down, as you can see that top row constantly scrolls with us so that anywhere we are on the page, we can again associate it with the header. Now this works with the column as well. If I scroll from left to right, you can see that these names continue to move along their specific rows, so you can see them next to the data. Now the way we do this is we simply go next to the number that's associated with the row that you want to freeze. And as you see, we get a little arrow that pops up. Once I click on that, we're gonna have some options including freeze header rows. Now for you, it may look like this where there's no check mark. We're just gonna click on that, and once you have that check mark showed up, you now know that you have the ability to scroll up and down. Again, same thing with these columns. If I click on this little arrow over here, you can see we have the freeze header column as well. And again, the header column is just gonna be that first one that is on the far left, or with the row that's one on the top. That's gonna to be considered the header. Friends, I hope that has helped. If it has, would you guys please click that thumbs up button for us. Let's know we're making decent videos for you guys. And then subscribe because we're making a ton more of these Apple number tutorials just to make your life a little bit easier. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again on the next one.